Hey guys, how's it going? Alex Allgood from Broad Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to create smooth slow motion inside Final Cut. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it, shall we? Alright, here I am in Final Cut Pro 7. Key to getting smooth slow motion is recording at a high frames per second. Most digital SLRs, which is what I'm using here, um, can do 720p at 60 frames a second. 30 frames is real time, 60 frames is uh, half time, I guess. Double time, half time. So it'll be half the speed of real time, creating that nice epic smooth slow motion like walking effect, you know? So I have my footage here converted to ProRes, ready for editing inside of Final Cut. Um, and as you can see, if we play the clip, it is real time of my friend taking pictures. Um, you can tell. But look at the speed of him getting up and whatnot, and uh, you can tell it's real time. So I want this to be conformed to 30 frames a second. So let's select the clip in our browser, go up to View, and go to Open in Cinema Tools. Yeah, it just sounds cool. Here we are in Cinema Tools, and uh, this is so easy that it took me so long to figure out how to do, but you just click Conform. It's at, as you can see, 59.94 frames a second. Conform to 29.97. Of course, you can change this to whatever you want. If you want it to be in 23.98 uh, or 24, choose that. For this, I'm just going to keep it at 29.97, depending on what you're doing. And click Conform. And now, as you can see, we get that nice smooth slow motion. And uh, now, really, you just have to... Uh, don't exit out, but you're back into it, and Final Cut automatically updates to that. So you don't have to, like, conf render anything or anything out. As you can see, it's automatically conformed. Nothing else you have to do. And if we drag this into our timeline, you can now see that we have smooth slow motion in our timeline. Well, that's a bad example. Let's go back to the beginning where he's getting up. As you can see... Really easy, super easy to do. A lot of people think that you can go to, uh, you can right click, click change speed, go to rate 50%, um, maybe turn on frame blending or something, click OK, and that's going to be smooth slow motion. But as you can see, it's very jittery. Because how frame, how this change speed works is instead of taking the extra frames that are there that you can't see with 60 frames, it takes the frames of 30 frames per second and just doubles each frame. As in, it takes one frame, doubles it. So it's like two frames are now one frame, so it creates a very skippy effect. It is slow. It's slowed down, obviously, but it's not smooth, and that doesn't look good or professional. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back to 100. Now, if you want to get really technical, you can add certain plugins that'll somewhat make up frames so you'll have two frames and it'll make up a couple frames in between that so you can get to like a thousand frames a second if you're interested in that um, I might upload a tutorial about that later or um, if you're if you just want to check it out now um, check out the uh, the plugin Twixter Twixter or um, or I believe it's called optical flow inside Apple's motion so if you're using Final Cut you should have motion and you can use optical flow in that uh, but just type in 1,000 FPS uh, slow motion with SLR on Google, you'll find it. Um, but that's it, guys. It's really easy to do. Literally just uh, view, open cinema tools, conform, yada, yada, good to go. If you guys have any problems or concerns, leave a message or video response below. I would love that. And check out my other tutorials. If this is your first time seeing it, please subscribe. As usual, if you guys need any help, again, let me know. And happy, happy editing.